All right, guys, welcome to uh, another Two Stupid Gamers Showcase. This one means a lot to me. I'm Nanners. I'm Zero. This is a really cool ass game. And for a little while, it was kind of locked away because they took it off of the marketplaces. That's right. It used to be on the PS3 and on the Xbox 360. Yep. And I believe it used to be on Steam as well. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But they re released it. Uh, for PS4, for modern consoles, I guess for, for if it wasn't on Steam, for Steam as well. And they brought it back. They even did a limited run uh, special edition of this game as well for the release, where you could get a bunch of cool stuff, including the soundtrack. I, I don't even want to talk any more about this. I just want to jump into it because I was a huge fan of this game. And of course, it's a beat em up, so we could play with two people. I mean, one of us has to go with Scott, so. Oh, yeah, you go ahead. I'll pick Scott. Or can we both play Scott? Nah, I'm not. Nah, we gotta be different, you know? We gotta... Stills. Alright, let me, uh... Is that a reference to Crosby, Stills, and Nash? Let's see. Should I stay... Yeah, I think I'll keep the regular color. Let's go. Oh, I always loved the overworld map here. It was amazing. Because it's clearly a reference to... Super Mario World. Yeah. And here it comes. The, like, greatest... Just such a great song to open with. Another winter. This this soundtrack was developed. Uh, was developed. Was put together by Anamanaguchi. Yeah, we saw them in concert once. They were amazing. Yes. Now, unfortunately, when because this game kind of got like locked out, and Ubisoft was holding its grubby or whoever Universal, who, whoever was holding this game hostage, Anamanaguchi basically wasn't able to wasn't able oh, to geez. play this game. I mean, play this game. They weren't able to perform the soundtrack live. Oh, that sucks. Really? You didn't notice that? I mean, I just figured they didn't play the song. I just no. didn't, I didn't bother paying attention. To they that. literally couldn't do it. In fact, when this game was getting brought back for this re, uh, for this port, um, mm -hmm. Animanaguchi was like spearheading like on Twitter and stuff for a while. Like, guys, like please make this happen. Like they were just tweeting, like, please make this happen, please make this happen. And then finally, the you know it, it happened, and, and here here we are. Classic game. Let me hit him with the trash can. There you go. The fucking asshole. You know what's goofy? What? The sound effects are stereo. So when I'm hitting people on the right side of the screen, I can only hear in my right headphone. And when I'm hitting people on the left side of the screen, I can only hear on the left side. Oh god, I hit myself with the ball. It's so weird. Get over here, you animal. Get, that guy. get over here! Awesome, there we go. Fucking asshole. <laughs> yes, we we like our beat em ups here at TSG. Indeed we do. They're fun. Yeah. God, that's why I can't wait until we do Streets of Rage. Yeah. And um I can't wait till River City Girls 2 comes out. We may not be able to do the whole thing like we did with the first game, but we could definitely at least showcase it and see what the changes are and stuff like that. Um but I enjoy oh, our I died. Through... <laughs> Nice. Or was that just like, you know, you, you get hurt? I think you lose, uh, you get hurt. No. Let go of me! Oh, sorry, I thought you were an enemy for a second. I wasn't paying attention. I was just letting my blind rage take over. But, uh, yeah, man, Scott Pilgrim was legit. And now there's also a lot of other Scott Pilgrim properties, too. There's the original comic that this was based off, and there was the movie as well. Have you... Have you actually done, like, checked any of that stuff out, too, or just I watched the movie. You watched the movie. I tried getting into the to the comic. I just, again, it was just something I didn't bother continuing. I read, right. like, maybe two or three pages, and I was like, all right, maybe I'll continue later. And that's it. Yeah, I didn't have money to just keep buying comics, so I didn't have that option. But I do have the first uh, first issue of it. I got a, it's a really nice hardcover of it, and um, I have not watched the movie. <laughs> the movie's not bad. Like, if you're a fan of any of anything referring to Scott Pilgrim, I, I recommend watching the movie. Right. Um, you know, just... Oh, just, no! Oh, oh my god, dude. What the hell? I love the design on the bus. Hey, look, it's Lucas Lee. Yeah, the skateboarder guy, right? No. Who is he, then? Or maybe he is? I don't think he's the skateboarder guy, but it's been a while since I've played this. 
Get over here, you fat bastard. How about you? You want a piece of this? You want to get beat? Yeah, there you go. Give me that money. Asshole. There we go. Man, I'm just so lost in this song and this. The whole, the whole atmosphere in the first stage is awesome. But it gets even better. The, so the, like, they, the soundtrack is great. The game is pretty tough for the most part. Oh, cool. You got a new move. I got two new moves, really. You got the charge and the slide. Yeah. Have you ever finished this game? No. Uh, I got to play it a little bit back in the day. Uh-huh. And uh, I never bought it. Which I probably should, just so I can have it in the, in the library now. Dude, it's it's definitely worth it. You own a Switch now, too, so you could also get it for a Switch. It's a must, in my opinion. I mean, I, I rarely take my Switch out to play portably. God, if it... This could have been great on the Vita. That's kind of what I was saying from before, but we never got that. But now, well, I mean, you know how it is. Anything that could have been on the Vita now has an option to, well, it's just on the Switch. Ow. Who? This bastard threw a bottle at me. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of violent for a game, because these are little pixel characters that we're looking at, but, I mean, Ow. they throw Ow. bottles and bats at each other and stuff. Dude, oh. we play freaking River City Girls. Come on. Ah, but the worst that happens there is you slap someone with a fish. Ow. Uh, dude, we slap people with more than just a fish. Crack, crack, crack. Um, it happened once or twice already, but if you guys notice, there's like this weird juggling that you could do with the enemies. Where you pretty much just infinitely hit them, and you can also double team with, uh... Ow, I hit myself. You could double team with characters there, with your, your allies. Yeah, something like that. Unfortunately, you do move away as you hit, so... Yeah, I guess it's just so you don't abuse. Oh, for the love of God! The blocking. We could block, too. I think. Eat pale. Ow. Oh, shit. I, don't, I know that there's, like, a... A door we could open somewhere here. Oh, help me! I'll try, but I think I'm almost done, too. Nice. I'm alive! They auto-blocked me, too. That was nice of them. Oh, it's knives. Oh, I like knives. She's cool. Yeah, there's like... There's like a whole story here. Basically, the entire story of this game is revolving around Scott's relationships. And Knives, I think, was his first girlfriend or something like that? Mm, not necessarily. No? It's been a while. That, that's not that. The, the, the girl drummer was his first girlfriend, I believe. Oh, okay. And he was wow. kind of a douche. Scott gets around. And then, um, what's it called? I think the idea was that he wanted to get with, what's her, what's her face? Ramona? Ramona. And he got with Knives to get her jealous. Well, anyway, Scott aside, the entire story also revolves around Ramona's relationship because you're fighting all of her evil ex-boyfriends. That's not even the first story, by the way. The first story was actually him and the drummer. Okay. Yeah. Like Again, this this, this deals with the freaking comics. Yeah. You wouldn't know that just from the game because you start at this point. That's probably why I know so little about it. Indeed. <laughs> but, uh... It doesn't matter to me. The game is the best part. Jam oh my this. god, they're doggies. They're Rottweilers. Uh, no, Dobermans. It's uh, giving me good RE flashbacks. Oh god. Zombie dogs seize him. Those fucking dogs were terrifying. Someone call PETA. Because we're murdering these dogs. Yes, quite literally. I mean, the murder is... Is it real? Because they disappear. That doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. Yeah, they're just not there anymore. Something happened to them. I mean, you know. When you throw a tire at somebody, that's probably lethal. But what are you <laughs> going to do? We're not killing actual people. They're just, Combos. you know, they're just pixels on a screen. 
There we go. Oh, get over man. here. Let me get some of this. Let me get some of this fucking money. Oh! Oh, is that the secret? Yeah, it has a star on it. That is a secret uh, passage. But we didn't get to the shop first. Doesn't matter. We can use it. We'll try not to accidentally go in there. What I always found really amusing is if you kind of look when I was punching next to the cat, the cat has this reaction. Like, he's like, no, don't hit me. All of the NPCs that you don't, you don't actually, uh, you, you don't have to fight, they have that kind of reaction. So if I walk up to this cat and I try to punch it, it's gonna be like, no. Or maybe. Oh, I guess the cat, no. But definitely the people. Definitely the people in the background will have that. Shit. This game makes me wish it was winter. I don't want it to be winter, are you kidding? Fuck that. Fuck you. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. I like the missing go shit on the side. This is glitchy. Yes, look at all that. Look at all that cash. Get the gold. Get the gold. Get it. Why are you flashing? I don't know. That's the wrong guy. You stay low, I'll stay high. Oh, I think we hit the end. Oh, well. Yeah, if you see a door or anything with a star on it, that's it. That's that's how you know. I'm back to the gems. Oh. Christ. Yo, let me get that let me get that suitcase real quick. Yeah, this game doesn't pull any punches. I still can't believe I did I beat it, but I did at some point. I was just so into it. I had a I had it on PS3. And again, it's like, man, this was one of the coolest games for the PS3. I think I could still play that version of it. Because I never, um, I never deleted my copy of it. I've told this story before, but I deleted my copy of PT because I thought I would never play it again. Yeah. And that's gone forever. Yeah, but, we could have we could have made a, a video about that. Yeah, but I never did that with Scott Pilgrim on PS3. Of course, that doesn't matter now because we have the re-release. Snowball fight. A uh, triangle to throw. Bastard ran towards me. Oh, you can't block my snowballs. Oh my god. Christ. Christ. What? Why am I not hitting him? How do I stop them from blocking? Can I do anything about that? You kind of think about it like a fighting game. Do an, uh, do an aerial attack, like a cross, um, a cross up kind of. That usually works. So just mix around with the lows and the highs. Keep hitting them with weapons. There's different things you could do. And obviously if they're hit from both sides, like if you're there or I'm there, that works too. I want to figure out how to guard though. I know you have to be able... Oh, it's circle. Well, I guess if I'm holding something, I can't guard. No. Oh, dog pile? No. Really? Help me! Help me! Closer. Yeah. Thank you. Gotcha. Also, does this does Scott Pilgrim take place in in Canada or it Seattle? It does. Canada. Oh, Canada. Okay. See, together we can we can just keep moving forward because as long as one of us is punching, he's gonna keep getting juggled. So don't forget to move a little forward. <laughs> five hours late down. Yeah, we'll sit here. We'll sit here for five hours. For you to say what we should and shouldn't do. Look at this. Oh my god. Someone call Marvel. They want their infinites back. <laughs> Yo, I still can't do lightning loops perfectly. Well, you know. It's kind of hard to... Oh. Oh, well. Oh, no account video. Oh, see, oh look. my god. I'm slamming them with the thing. There you go. See, when I hit them, they're like, no, stop. It's fun. I, I, I absolutely adore this game. And now that I, 
Now that I have it again, I guess I'll just replay it. I do have a Switch version of it, too. So, I will probably end up, um... I will probably end up replaying this game in my spare time. It's kind of low on my priority list because there's a lot of other stuff I need to play, but still. I'm, I'm thrilled that Ubisoft finally made this made this possible. I normally don't like Ubisoft <laughs> for what they do. Hey, but... every company has its, has its uh, time. And then there's Ubisoft, which never has its time, in my opinion. I mean, other than finally re-releasing this. Yeah, the one thing they did. How is that not Scott Pilgrim's brother, younger brother or something? It kind of looks like it. Oh, he hit me. It's funny how the movie did amazing, but they didn't do anything afterwards. Yeah. I don't get it. Ow. Why did we both get hit? Oh, you could slide? How? Uh, square. Double forward square. Oh, for me, it's, uh, elbow. Ah. I like his- I like Still's run animation. Yeah, it's perfect. Also, these stages are really long. We may not get out of another world, unfortunately. Oh, god. But if we don't- No, they're dogpiling on me! I'll try to help you. I don't think I can. Yeah, if we don't get to it, guys, this oh, game dude, is amazing. I was you should check it out. For a reason. I don't know why. All right, all right, all right. Come on. We got Canadian dallas. We got some bucks, eh? Hmm. It's a shame that Chiptune isn't more, like, main... Well, I'm glad that it's not mainstream, because then it would have just sucked, because... Over it gets It gets dumbed down, and it, and it gets numb. You, know? you get numb to it. You hear it too much. Yeah. But I really do like Chiptune. Chiptune's amazing. There's a good, there is a good Chiptune scene, though. There's lots of good stuff. It's just... There's not a lot of Chiptune rock bands like Anamanaguchi. That's why they're so unique. Also, it's it's kind of hard to see that stuff because it's not because it's not mainstream. You usually can't just go to like a cl club and expect to see some chip tunes. It's uh, it's a little bit more rare than that. Yeah, just let him die. Oh. oh. Oh God. Hey, I didn't die this time. God. You've been on this level for what feels like an eternity, dude. Yeah, the whole episode. The whole episode. It's a shame. It really is. I would love for us to play through this all the way, but we won't have time for that. But again, I mean, this game is great, so you should definitely check out the rest of it if you haven't. You can get it now on pretty much anything. It's it's come back. They took it off the marketplace, but now it's returned. And it, boy, is it glorious. It really is. If only it had all mine play. I'm, I would be surprised if that's if it doesn't. Crashing the boys. Yeah, we made the right call. Oh god! Why did I fall? Oh, oh. zero. The music is getting muffled. I wonder it really why. Really is. Wow! Look at how how snowy it is. I love that it captures the atmosphere of like just winter and like going to see a show. It's snowing outside, but who cares about what it's like outside? Yeah. Look at all that! Oh god, yes! Yeah. Glorious cash. Oh my god, this is definitely like a reference to Mario. The video game references are amazing. Guys, have you played Mario? It's a Mario pretty big Brothers? deal. Kinda is. Alright, let's just move on. We don't really need the money anymore. I think this is gonna be it. Yeah. Oh, I love this. The band is like burned out and everybody's just dead at the dance floor for some reason. <laughs> and there he is. Evil ex-boyfriend number one. He oh, he looks like Iori oh! from King of Fighters. He kind of does. <laughs> and he's kind of tough because he has these... Oh god, this song.
I think all of the boss themes are the same, but oh man. I'm not complaining about having to hear this song multiple times. Oh my god. Yep. Demon girls, why? Suck you buses. Try to hit them. Oh, okay. Wait, why am I down? You got hit. Ow. Why? He's going yellow. Get out of here, sure you can, motherfucker. Now remember when we were playing as River City Girls, and there was the one rock concert goth. Yeah, girl or uh, something? what was her face? God, I forgot her name. I also did, but that felt like a reference to this kind of. It could have been. Yeah. Also, that boss battle was just amazing. Yeah, they're like rock band. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's definitely from, like, Alpha 3. We did it! Hooray. We did it! Oh, man. Area clear! Yeah. That was awesome, man. I'm glad we got to at least play the first level all the way through, but... Yeah, no, it's... It's, it was so sad when they took it off the marketplace, and it really felt like, man, people just couldn't enjoy this anymore, but... It's back. You can get it pretty much anywhere. Highly recommend it. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> they're so mad. Yeah, they're just more like, oh, these two. Alright, guys. Once again, we hope you enjoyed it. Hell yeah. Uh, if you did, slap the like button. Let us know what was your experience with Scott Pilgrim. Did you like the comics? Did you watch the movie? Did you play the game? Let us know. We'll talk. Let us know what your favorite song is on this soundtrack, but... Yes. Uh, and also, if you have any game you want us to see, uh, you want us... Yeah, you you want to see us play for Showcase, let us know in the comments below. We do let, take requests for this, so uh, uh, thank you for watching. That's right. And once again, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.